Welcome back to another day. Um, I think it's day 20. Anyway, please hit like and subscribe. Got a bunch done today, so I think that's pretty good. Um, put up a shelf in the electrical closet. Um, the inverter's kind of big and it looks heavy, so I'd rather have it laying flat. Plus, I think it gives us extra room, so I'll probably hang the converter on the wall and the inverter on the back shelf. Anyway, so that's one part done. Um, did get half of the roof up today, or half the ceiling on the inside. Um, just used the uh, regular uh, VHB tape, and then I'll have the cabinet in the front side that'll hold that up. So I think that should be fine. And then put molding along all the edges that'll hold the edges up. Um, vent's going to go in here. And the second one, um, did a little bit more work on the cabinet little wood filler just got to sand it and take care of that and polyurethane but that's going to be in the front speakers one on each side and then inside is just going to be just a little bit of lip um i just put baskets in there for now i'm not even sure so um back here i got a lot done in the galley um you see down in the corner over there i'm gonna do plumbing so it's gonna be an external intake in there so i'm leaving that space open for now so i could uh run the pipes uh pummeling through the water pipe down and then go run underneath which sorry for all the movement but underneath there is a water tank so i'll have it run across the side underneath and then up and then out the side for the fill so hopefully that'll work i gotta see if they make one too that has the external so you can put the pump like hook the hose right up there because I plan on putting the Pelican up on this wall with the water heater. Um, in the back's gonna, you know, lights. And then I'm gonna put um, stereo in here, speakers in the back. So there's gonna be two speakers in the inside and two speakers outside. I figure that'll be enough. Um, then what I plan on doing is putting probably somewhere around here, um, got a big cooler. Um, that I'm going to put down in here on the slide. Um, so I wanted to make sure it's cleared this bottom for the hatch. I have not received the doors yet, but I just know the dimensions I gave Challenger, so hopefully they fit pretty good. Um, so that's that. So I got to just put lights up here, switches. Um, going to put, as I said, a wall, another support here. Um, and then I'll put drawers on one side over here, up and down. I think that'll be good use, so I could leave that open back there for the plumbing and have enough drawers, enough space. And then over here is going to be a slide out for the cooler. Um, walk around. Pretty much. Um, started working a little bit more in here. Just put the second wall up. I got to cut that out for the... Uh, the AC heater is installed, have not, um, it's not hooked up by any means, but it's there so that way I can start running the pipes. I'll put the um, fuel tank over here. I put extra support in the back, which be able to screw into it so it should hold it. I just had it kind of set up on using this because I used it over the winter time to heat the garage and ran the exhaust outside. So everything's coming along. Any questions, any comments, let me know. Um, please, any suggestions are always well appreciated. But I did that white just because I figured I'll make it brighter in there um, and not have to be as pain. So I had some leftover primer. So I figured that was a pretty good use of it. I did poly the bottom first, so hopefully it's an oil-based primer. Hopefully it sticks pretty well. Um, this wall was poly too, but um, I think we should be all right with that. So it's coming along. Uh, bunk beds are gonna go. In the, uh, bunk beds gonna go in the back. That's where you see that metal tab. There's another one on this side to lay it on, and then I just gotta kind of make that all work in the back and across. So I think it's pretty good. Um, overall dimensions, it's 12 feet long altogether. Um, about two feet is the front electrical on one side. The other side is gonna be the heat in the air conditioner. You can see that little cut out there. It's gonna go through, um, so that should be fine. And then the back is approximately about the same, about two feet. So it's 10 feet in the middle. Figure I'll leave about six feet for um, 
myself and two feet just shy of for my daughter. She's only four, so she should easily fit in there. Um, and this cabinet is gonna go up in here. Um, I did it about nine inches, so it should stick out to, you know, before the um, uh, before the door and to about there. So it's gonna be up high, and then I'm gonna have all the controls and everything on that which I think makes it very convenient because it goes right through to the other side in the electrical panels, panel. So I think that's um, pretty good. So thank you. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. I post every day after I'm done with the work for the day, just to kind of give you progress. Um, and hopefully um, you get some ideas. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon.